Today we're back here on Hirschfelden for another goose hunt, and we've got a flock coming in right now, including one that technically has a small chance of being a diamond since it's a max four. But, much like last time, we're just going to be trying to take out as many as we can. I still want to get a melanistic, but if I can, I'd like to focus on males. So unfortunately, I probably could have shot a couple of those females. There's only one other male left, it seems like. And if we can get him... I don't know that I spotted this one, but that's a female as well. Since we're kind of heading over there to get the male we shot, we'll get that too. But yeah, I really like the way the last one went. I mentioned in that video that I always felt like it was difficult to... Wow. <laughs> I always felt like it was difficult to make a goose hunt interesting. This is the thing that I talked about last time. Now, somebody did shoot a level 4 diamond goose with this 8.5 trophy rating. I'm going to taxonomize this. And I want to see what the trophy rating says in the lodge, because I'm guessing things are rounded, and I'm guessing you maybe actually need 8.55 or something, and it's rounded to 8.50 on the like requirement screen there, because in theory that should have actually been a diamond to start off with, but it seems like they don't always make it on that. But anyway, yeah, I like the format where we only showed things that were interesting. Like, I felt like that was a really good way to make a goose hunt a little more fun to watch. And also, we got really lucky last time. We got a diamond, we got the two greys, and tons of brown hybrids. So, I mean, even if we don't get the melanistic I want, I have a lot of the really small Plaxen platforms still available in the lodge, and geese could definitely be good for filling those. So, there should be that male that we shot somewhere back here. Or I guess we just claimed the male, and this is the female then? Yeah. But not a bad start. We had an almost diamond, and I really want to check into that. If anybody has a diamond level 4 goose mounted in the trophy lodge, check in the trophy manager and see what its score is. Because I really want to know what the deal is with them. Because I, I thought it was a bug, but it might actually be a rounding thing. Every time, it's got to be chaotic. There's two max 4s already and another flock coming in from this side. Not seeing any that we need to worry about there, but... There are two different flocks. It's the front one and that flock. And towards the back, yeah, that guy there. So I at least want to get those two. And to be honest, probably we're just going to try to get everything we can. I don't know if I'm going to be able to really focus on males anyway with this many. I can try. Is that a flock that we can spot? I didn't think so. A lot of times when they're in that like perfect V formation, they can't be spotted. But that's one of the ones we want. We'll probably just get this one too since it's right in front of us. Okay, now, if we can find the other one, that's not him. Okay, they're kind of side by side, so if we can get that other four too, that would be good. That's him. And that'll be that one. So I'll keep him spotted at least. And then, now that we know where he is, maybe if we just get one that's out in the field? It's going to be a tough shot to begin with because they got pretty far away. We hit that one, so I guess we'll keep it spotted now. So, I mean, that didn't go too badly, but I swear, it can't just be as simple as dropping the one big one almost ever. There's always, like, two of them or several flocks, but I think that was the first one we shot. That'll be the first big four, and then I don't even know what this was, little two. Then we had the, I think this will be the second big four. I believe he was the closer one. This will be the small four we got, and then I don't even remember what the last goose we shot was, but it was somewhere further this direction. Or wait, no, that four was the last one we shot, so now we just got to go get that other one that we shot at the other end of the field. And of course, that was just a little level two, but anything extra we can get for respawns is always good. I mean, I've said a bunch of times, if we can get lucky enough to actually get a melanistic, I'd love for it to be a male, but I mostly just want to get one, so... If we can get females for respawns, we'll take those too. So this is actually good timing, because there's a rodier buck coming through here, and this is why I always have the 243 when I goose hunt, because when zones end, a lot of times animals do come through these fields and give you a shot, which, you know, sometimes is really brief. <laughs> but sometimes you get a shot. And if we can, I want to get that level 3 uh, male goose as well. That'll work. But yeah, I've mentioned it before. The 243 is like the perfect weapon to bring with you on a goose hunt because you can take everything on the map that's not uh, European bison now. 
You used to not be able to use it for some stuff, but you can take everything from Fox all the way to Red Deer and get the uh, proper ammo check. So I do carry the 243 and I have all the colors, like should I see or hear something as I'm goose hunting, I can bring them in. It's not often up in this spot in Ritterstein that you have enough time between shotgun blasts for any animals to get close enough, but it happens occasionally. So first flock down in Rathenfelt has a brown hybrid in it. And it's actually a three, so definitely one I want to get. Because I've still got some female ones throughout the lodge, and any like higher scoring ones we can get to replace those would be nice. I don't know, I might even just put it elsewhere, but since they're not really a rare, we'll have to kind of decide when we get there, but I think we'll just get that first. And of course I didn't reload after the last flock, so we'll get that super quick. Alright. And just take that one. We should be able to get three quick if we can shoot decent. Or, you know, not be loaded. In that case, probably just one. And if we can find a male to get with the 22, that would be nice. There's one. Kind of flying away and getting lower. There we go. And that's another flock that we certainly just spooked. So we'll try to get a good look at everything. It's really difficult to tell, like, if one's melanistic or not, so I really try to zoom in if I spook them and they're not going to get closer. I don't see anything that special, so maybe we'll just try to get this level 3 if we can. He's a smaller 3, but we'll just take that and move on, because we're going to have to reload anyway. So unfortunately our brown hybrid is just a silver, but still, like I said, it's going to be better than some of the females we have mounted, and we could always just fill out an empty, like, small plaque with that, so... Better than nothing. That's actually a decent female fox. We got geese coming in that I want to get, but I think we can get them with the 22. And since that should be a gold, we'll get her. And there's a brown hybrid 2 and a big 4. So those are the two I want to get. The 4 I'm more worried about. It'd be nice if he'd fly in a straight line. And the brown hybrid should have been back here more. Uh... I think that's it. We're going to spook other ones that I hear coming in. But we got her. I'm going to place a marker where we last spotted it. Reload real quick. And that's another big flock. That's the one thing about this area in Rathenfeld. The flocks are bigger, I feel like. At least on average, I would say. But I'm not seeing any that are all that special. So I think maybe we'll just try to get one and leave it spotted so we know where it ends up. I didn't see any better than a three, so I think that'll be the one. But yeah, this fox called, and I decided to bring it in. It's actually a gold, so not bad. And I was thinking I was going to actually head up north again to Ritterstein, because if you can sit and call in a fox as slow as they come in, uh, the geese hunting is a little bit slow, but I mean, with the size of the flocks, it might actually make up for it. So we may just try to end the video here. I'm not going to spend a ton more time out here, probably like another 20 minutes or so. So maybe we'll just stick to Rathenfeld, because I don't know like exactly how like geese spawning works and stuff. I'm not really sure if like the ones we shoot here are going to be back in Rathenfeld next time, or if they're all over the map, or like they're kind of a unique species since they don't have zones, so I have no idea like if it matters where we hunt, basically. But we got our level 4, which wasn't too special, and our brown hybrids here, which at least it was a level 2 female, but not one that I'm going to keep. Looks like it wasn't too bad a decision to stay here anyway. We have another big 4, and there's actually a small 4 somewhere. I don't know where it got to, but we're going to get the two that are side by side there. Sort of. And where did that other 4 get to? Seriously, how did it... Okay. Hit it anyway. And it's actually going to go down, but... We'll try to speed that up if we can hit it. I guess not. But it sounded like there might have been another flock. I think it was just one flying directly over us fleeing. But anyway, that was the two that we shot. And then out here in front of us was the... One that I guess could be a diamond. We were so close to the very first goose we shot. But this guy's definitely lower end of that estimate, so nothing special there. So just to change things up a bit, 
I had a brown hybrid female here, and I put one of the greys here from last time instead. And then the brown hybrid from today is up here on the wall next to the other grey, because I thought it looked nice having at least a little bit of variance up there. But the thing that shocked me is the score of that level 4 goose we shot to start with. He's 8.58. So maybe you need 8.59. Like I said, it's rounded, so you maybe do. But yeah, if any of you guys have shot any diamond goose that, like, the harvest screen said 8.5, if you can, check the trophy rating in the manager here and let me know, because I'm genuinely curious if they're broken, or if you maybe really do need 8.59. That would explain why so many of the 8.5s are trolls, because maybe you need that perfect of an 8.5, but I have no idea. But anyway, not a bad goose hunt. We got a lot of them for potential future respawns. We got a higher scoring brown hybrid to put on the wall, and yeah, hopefully work towards eventual melanistics or more diamonds. So. That's going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.